everyone, ladies and gentlemen. Hopefully we're recording this time. It's all good. It's all good. This is episode two. My uh, blood echoes are right here. Get out. He's actually guarding a pretty cool area, but we're probably going to have to be prepared to use first. In order to get him. Okay. I just don't want to like, get spawned by him, because this dude has like a really... What if the is like... Oh, he won't. But, uh, he's got his own little area. This saw cleaver is ridiculous. Oh, yeah, it's like, it's real pretty. So for the other ones, like, okay, so you see how like when I attack them and like the little orange bar goes down and then I can get my health back? Yep. It's like all about, because like Dark Souls, they wanted you to be kind of defensive. Only aggressive when need be. Oh, we're these people are jerks. And you that outsider? Well, sorry, but I don't want anything to do with you. Trot along, will ya? Oh, wow. Jerks. I just oh, want to break it right I think when you talk to him, you can, like, attack the door. You that outsider? Oh, no. Well, trot. Some of them, like, if you attack the door, they're like, <gasps> and they freak out. Open that door. Lad, you come on. He'd open that door on the night of the hunt. I'll run with you now. They all die later. Yeah. That's not. That's not even a spoiler. Okay. Oh, oh, See, okay. so, like normally, I wouldn't even get the dodge. bar underneath my head. That's uh, like your stamina, and that goes down with your attack. So if you like run out of stamina, you like you can't attack anymore. It's like really slow. It doesn't work. And it's not as powerful either. Also your weapon can break. Actually, like later when you unlock the shortcuts. But yeah, R2 is like super powerful attacks. You can see later, like, they'll be hiding behind here, just like, hey. Come on over here. <laughs> they're, they're just sitting in the doorway and they're like, come over here, I'm friendly. As long as you didn't say like RB Oh no. <laughs> I said it. Dang it. We're gonna get sued. Go check out Go check out uh Donicum's channel. Jonathan Clayton right here? Or is it just Jonathan Clayton now? Oh, no, Jonathan, no, no. and then parentheses, pesky gamer. Please. It's in the description. Yeah. One of our comments. Oh, he's shot. Yeah, he's shot. So I'm just gonna run through these guys because they're ridiculously hard. Uh, at this current level, I've got like 1,000 blood echoes. That's nothing. Oh, I'll take some bullets though. You want to try and kill him? No. This is the hunt. No, I collect some cold blood too.
Well, like, accurate. here's the thing, like, the blunderbuss is, like, all the guns in this game are meant not to, like, kill stuff, really. You can kill stuff with the guns, but it, it's, it's like, it gets their attention, and it's, like, it's Also, it'll look like their health bar is down sometimes. It was like, oh, they're totally dead. Nope. They're alive. Sometimes. They just have like one health left or something. I would, uh, actually kind of like it if this game was in first person. Oh, God, can you imagine that? So if you die, all these guys are gonna spawn. So I actually, it, it took me like about an hour to get through this area when I first played. It's ridiculous. Oh no, I was just like, I was trying to, I like, I didn't know where to go. Cause it's hard, like everything kind of blends in. And all these enemies just start running at you and you're like, what do I do? <laughs> it's just covered in blood. Ah, you poor thing. Oh, wow. oh yeah, it's super shiny. I'm super shiny. Like a Barbie doll. Dude, a hot Barbie doll. Wow. So, Only, only because I was able to get that visual attack on him. And now I have a torch. It doesn't do anything for me. It just lights up the dark. There's some, uh, some, some dead birds over here. Just kidding. That's exactly what they were doing. later when we fight the Claire Beast because we can coat him in oil and just like burn him to death. And you like you don't even have to fight him. <laughs> this was an item over here. Yep. I don't know, you could say I know this game. Yeah. If I was playing right now, you know, I'd be like, play where I go. You tell me where to go. Tell me where you can play you it for me. me. Yeah. We, we would have probably where we are right now. Oh god. Oh yeah. Like just getting, just getting through that area. Okay, so if you ignore that troll and you just like walk through, and you'll just like start fighting these guys, they'll just come up behind you and just like plow you from behind. <laughs> That's what she said. So now there's two doggos.
know, it, it, yeah, they, they twitch out. So much so cool. okay. I thought this was a, a dude right here. Yes. <laughs> I was like, oh god, no. the riflemen they um they were cool so i actually when i first fought the cleric beast i don't know what level i was mm. i was probably level 10 or whatever i just keep leveling up or i am level 10 right now level 10 right now yeah it starts you out with level 10 unless you go like super hardcore mode Lycanthropes, and they are way more powerful than the ones in the fight. So we're actually gonna go through this little secret area over here. Little secret too. So that was a Dude, did you crap. <laughs> I was like, are you talking? We were talking about the game. Hey. Hey, man, I, you know, mess my pants, dude. That is perfect. So this is a little secret area. You're stuck forever down here. This is why the torch comes in handy. Just kidding. You can... Oh, wait. Switch from the right here. Oh, there's... Oh, there's the stuff right there. So these werewolf guys are a pain. I think they're called, like, Big Mob or whatever. Like the super OP version of the enemies that we killed earlier, with like the riflemen or whatever. But they have torches and saw cleavers like me. Yep. Just without the cool bandages or whatever. So he's uh, he's got a torch. <laughs> I uh, say so. This game is all about uh, covering you in blood. Oh, yeah. Wait, they should call it blood, blood coverage simulator. Blood coverage simulator. Petition to rename? Huh? Petition to rename? Sure. Oh god. I didn't find it. He's a lot harder. Oh no! Oh no! I'm not supposed to be down here. Oh god! Oh god! Oh god. Alright, no need panic. No need panic. That's cool. Um, Hey, welcome back to Bloodborne. We're still in episode two. Sorry, thirty-minute episode special. <laughs> there's nothing. There's nothing down here. I gotta get up. There's actually an area over here. I think. But I wanted that item. Oh, oh 
Um, summoning these like drop ones. All right, so this is like way better gear. Hunter hat, way better. This, way better. This, way better. This, it's way better. Way better. You look so good. You got like a little purple hair coming out. And now we're not covered in blood anymore. Yay. Yeah. Cool. And we can actually go back up and get that out of here. I mean, you can't really tell a little woman until we die when she's like, ah! That's an area that we can get to. A different area. I can jump around it, but this is all we need. Actually, do stamina by walking. By running, yeah. Oh, that's running. So, like, if you're running, like from enemies, you lose stamina. But if you run into a group of enemies, well, well done. You played yourself. <laughs> it doesn't take it up nearly as quickly as some other things, though. Yeah. Is that a lever? A what? A lever. Oh, right there? No. It's uh, like the top of the barrel. <laughs> yeah. Alright, so we have 3,000 blood echoes. I think there's actually a thing behind here. Yeah. Okay, we're good. And those enemies still haven't respawned. Because technically, you can go through this game without ever saving uh, at the areas. You can. It wasn't at full health either. Sure. This is why I like the threaded cane I chose. Um, was really good and actually got me through this area fairly easily. It does way less damage, and I hadn't like found any bloodstones or whatever to level it up. But it's like secondary. It's just a giant whip. So I was able to attack both of them without coming down here and being stuck on the water well. There's like a bunch of crows over here, but yeah, this this area like right here is the area where like most people just like screw it, this game's too hard. Mm -hmm. oh. oh wait, there's a shortcut over here in case I die, which I probably. Damage 
through boxes and stuff, like attacking the boxes and hitting the enemy, actually does less damage. I can one hit kill those guys. <laughs> Great. Alright, um, so check this out. So it's like, when the hunt began, the healing church left us, blocking the great village to Cathedral Lord, and Old Arm Yarman burned to the ground that noon that night. So this great bridge, um, this is a shortcut right here. Can we go over here? This is this guy. He's like, mother. Don't have anything on you, and then we get back up here with our friend Gilbert. I think I actually have some uh, Mad Man's knowledge too. I don't, but I have Cold Blood Uh We can't level up yet though. Um, so, yeah. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching episode 2. Uh, if Jonathan wants, we can continue on episode 3.